If, if, is the special guest ready? Yes, guinea pig B. <laughs> As a consequence of the foregoing, I then said, brain is always and only coordinating information reported to us by our senses regarding both the macro outside world around us and the micro world within us. And recording, recalling, and only reflexively behaving in response to previous similar experiencing, if any, or if none, to newly imagined safe way logic. No one has ever seen or in any way directly sensed outside themselves. The brain is a smell, touch, sound and imagination, teleset, whose reliability of objective image formulation has been since all childhood so faithful that we humans soon become convinced that we are sensing directly outside ourselves. Whereas no one has ever seen or heard or felt or smelt outside themselves. All sensing occurs inside the brain's television control zone. The brain is all, always and only deals with temporal, special case, human senses reported experiences. Mind always is always concerned only with multi-reconsidering a host of special case experiences that have intuitively tantalizing implications of ultimately manifesting the operative presence of an as yet to be discovered eternal principle governing an invisible, unsmellable, soundless, untouchable, eternal interrelationship and it's complete, possibly to be discovered, <laughs> constantly co-varying interrelationships rate of change. Such principles, whether discovered or not, are intuitively held always to both embrace and permeate all special case experiences. I happen to have been born at the special moment in history in which for the first time there exists enough experience one and experience verified information current in humanity's spontaneous conceptioning and reasoning for all humanity to carry on in a far more intelligent way than ever before. Four sentences. <laughs> 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 <laughs>